So a few days ago, as I was going to bed, I was falling in and out of sleep, just, you know, going through my mindset, developing my mindset, trying to improve it in whatever way I can. I wrote this down in my notes app, like frantically, because I did not want to lose what my thought was. And I've been rereading this the past few days, looking back over it, because I think it's a very valuable thing and a very valuable kind of realization that I realized. Um, and I'm gonna pop that up on the screen right now and uh, share it with you guys. And I think you guys are gonna take a lot of value from it because it's, it's something that's really starting to click with me as of recently. Now, I don't know if this is the universe trying to tell me something or it's just one of those things where you, once you know of something, you start to see it more often because you're aware of it. I'm not sure which of those things it is, but I like to believe that it's the universe telling me something because I've, I've really developed this thought and this thinking process that I just read to you. Over the past few weeks, I've been watching this new guy on YouTube that I never watched before. Um, and he just talks a lot about the habits that he does on a daily basis. And it's something that I'd like to share with you guys as well, because if you, uh, if you didn't see my video a few days ago, I said that I was gonna begin to implement some new habits into my life to try and take me to that next level. Because as I said, I think I'm about to break through and it may just be, it may be uh, a fluke or something like that. Maybe I'm just always thinking about to get there and I'm expecting some exponential increase in my life. And uh, we know that usually it's not exponential. Usually it's just little wins stacked up and then it, it looks like you're an overnight success. But that's besides the point because I do feel like I'm, I'm getting to that inflection point of personal personal development, improving myself, improving my life. And I've begun some new habits the past few days. Uh, I've begun writing those habits down every single day because I actually, I was performing a few different habits, but I didn't write them down every day. And it's just, it's helped me so much and I highly recommend it to you guys as well. Please try it. So every day, I just, I don't even have like a special journal or anything. I just have a one of those cheap, 99 cent journals or notebooks i mean that i'm i've been using for school i just started picking out random pages from it and i write down the date i write down five squares empty squares that i can use for check boxes and next to it i write uh make bed daily spanish uh 100 pull-ups cold shower and then set three daily goals. Then I skip a line and below that I do three more empty squares and that's where I set my three daily goals. It's at least three, sometimes it's a little more. I try not to go over five because then you start to get too scattered and you're not really focused on one thing. But guys, please try this. Over the past few days, it's only been, I don't know, six days maybe that I've done it now, but I already built out the, the next couple pages for it as well so that I'm ready for the coming week as well and I'm really getting to this realization where you cannot you cannot become you cannot achieve results without being the type of person that's going to achieve those results and I've said that in the past few videos that I've made over the past couple weeks and it's just this really is like really hitting me hard because I've been on this self development shit for like at least five years. I started lifting hard in sophomore year of high school. That's when I was really into David Goggins and things like that. And I put on a ton of weight from where I was because I was only like a hundred pounds in sophomore year of high school, which is crazy. So I was like super into lifting. And then I kind of went through some different cycles, but ever, and then I didn't really get into entrepreneurship until freshman year of college. So there was, 
a f that's been only a few years now where I was really into entrepreneurship, but I've always been into the self-development shit and uh, ever since like sophomore year when I first started lifting, David Goggins, all that, that really kicked me off. I've been into this topic for a while now, into personal development and entrepreneurship I've been into for three, almost four years now. And honestly, I'm not very happy with what I've achieved in the entrepreneurship realm. Um, I haven't really made any big successes with it. I've tried a lot of different things. And I think the main reason, guys, please pay attention to this because maybe it can help some of you guys avoid this mistake and you don't have to go through years of just trying and failing. The biggest thing that I've realized is that no matter how bad you want it, if you want it so badly, you it will never just magically happen. I, I would think all day, every day, about my future success, about what my future life is gonna look like, about what my dream life is gonna look like, about whatever, whatever I want, I was envisioning it crystal clear every single day. But let me tell you, my friend, that is not enough. If that is great, that's great to manifest, and I, I think there's some benefit to that. But if you are not taking action and pairing that, all that manifestation with the actual action and executing and getting shit done and not sitting around daydreaming all fucking day and actually putting shit out there and just getting things done, you will never achieve any of those dreams and all those dreams will slowly die and then you're going to be miserable the rest of your life because you're going to wonder what happened and where did my dreams go and why did i never achieve anything it's because you never took action that is the biggest point that i have learned in the last few months and as the biggest realization that i know is going to push me over the edge and i hope it will for you guys as well I know many of you are also in your personal improvement journeys, your self-development. I don't know whether that's in fitness, entrepreneurship, whatever. I talk about both. I love both. And I just hope you guys are taking, taking what I'm saying and truly applying it to your lives. This is not a random TikTok that you're seeing. This is not a random Instagram reel, YouTube short that you're just passing by. This is like a, I don't know, 15 minute YouTube video or something please just hear me out and the thing is you can watch this video and feel good but you have to actually apply it to your life okay i've seen you guys in the comments there's been a few of you i get a couple comments on every every video and it means the world to me when you guys actually say that like it's helping you and what i'm saying is benefiting your life that is literally the whole point of all of these videos it's just to to help you guys and to show you guys that I'm right there in it with you guys and just to to push through and I'm hoping that a lot of my ideas that I'm kind of learning and my realizations and my mindset shifts that I'm really I can pass realizing that I can pass on to you as well and hopefully help you guys get to your goals and your dreams even faster please just realize no matter how bad you want it you have to execute. This is what I just got done doing before I came out here. I came straight out here. Normally I lift before these videos. It kind of gets me hype. But uh, I just had to come straight out here because it was it's just something that's been weighing on my mind and I really want to pass it on to you guys with as much value and clarity as possible. Because some of my videos I lack some clarity and some of the ideas aren't fully developed, but this is crystal clear in my brain and I wanna pass it on as soon as possible and get it out there so it can help you guys. I just got done writing out my, my next few days for this week. And honestly, so I have this, I have a business and it's a seasonal business. So the season is over. It's I'm like shivering out here. I think it's like below 40 degrees, so. The business is basically over until March, whenever it starts to warm up. So the next three and a half months, I don't got much to do. I'll be working, I'll be doing school, which yeah, that sounds like sounds like a full schedule, right? But not for me, because I want more and I know how to use my time effectively. And I know that I'm capable of more and that I can do a job, a normal like uh, W2 job 
and then also do full-time student and still have more and still want more, okay? So I'm looking for something else to be working on, something else to develop because I always have more potential and I know I have more to give. Besides the point, I had this one business idea that was gonna go along with my bounce house business. Spent days and days developing it. Spent oh, quite a while thinking about it, brainstorming, planning out as well. And uh, yesterday I kind of made the decision that it's not gonna be worth it. In the grand scheme of things, the amount of work that I was gonna put into it and developing the idea, I'm not gonna reveal what it is, but gotta be mysterious, but developing that idea, I'm thinking big numbers nowadays. I do not want to spend my time on some some petty little shit that's not going to make me just going to absolutely like blow forward the needle on the the radar. I don't know what you call it. On the meter, it's not going to blow blow I wanted it to blow the needle off the charts and I'm trying to pick the right idea so that when I dedicate my energy it's it's put on the right thing you know and that's i spent that's why i spent days developing it as well is so i could realize that that wasn't the thing for me i realized that it would probably only add in about best case scenario maybe 15k to my annual income which that's not worth it for me at all for the amount of work that i'd have to do um so anyways i'm kind of pivoting and i'm gonna start working on something different and I have a good feeling about it because I've done side by side while that I was doing thinking about that other idea, I was brainstorming this idea. So I don't really know where I left off with that, but I laid out my plan for the next this week. And it's kind of a complex topic whenever you're, whenever you're starting a new business idea. Okay. A lot of you guys, if you guys have a business idea, I'm sure like everyone, everyone has thought of something, you know? So if you're wanting to truly develop that, that idea, please listen to this closely. Sorry, I can't talk, it's freezing out here, but try to speak clearly for you guys. So listen up, okay? Starting a new business idea is a very, like a huge, a huge undertaking, but what I've realized in the last year, working at my internship especially, is that life is just a series of breaking everything down into lists lists like bullet bullet point lists so imagine like notes that you take at school hopefully you take notes maybe you guys don't pay attention but hopefully you're taking notes so you guys know how you put a heading at the top below that you have a subheading then you have three bullet points below that Maybe under each of those bullet points is some more bullet points. That is how life works, okay? Imagine that at the top of that notes page, the title for that day of notes is your dream, okay? Below that, all those subcategories for that, those are the different stages of your life. Below that is the things that are gonna be in those stages of life. Let's say one of them is a business idea under that business idea you're gonna write the different aspects of the business under each of those aspects you write the different elements sorry if this is being too broad for some of you guys if you guys aren't really into business you may not be able to visualize this but think of your own personal example like i'm thinking of mine as i say this but under each of those elements is like okay i'll give you guys some examples to help you out like customer acquiring customers what goes into that marketing advertising those are the two bullet points under that okay my my whole point is i'm not going to go into this too deep my whole point is that like anything anything in life can be broken down into bullet points so if you can understand one bullet point at a time you can literally achieve anything that top of the page your dream whatever your dream life is that might be very complex and you have no clue how to get there and that is why you have to break it down into these bullet point lists and just do one at a time and even if those bullet points are too complex for you even if the small bullet points are too complex for you you have to break it down further because when it really comes down to it 
Okay, you have to, in order to be a millionaire in your business, you have to acquire customers. What do you have to do to acquire customers? Marketing. What do you have to do to marketing? Uh, create ads. What do you have to do to create ads? You write out uh, good, good advertisements. What do you do to write out good advertisements? You research how to do that. Okay, can you do that? Can you watch some freaking YouTube videos on how to be a good advertiser? Okay, now what do you do? Now you actually type on your fucking keyboard and do it. Can you, can you watch a YouTube video on how to advertise good and then type on a keyboard? Yes, any, anyone can. So if you can do those two things, start moving on the bullet point list and work your way up. That is the whole point and I hope that was clear for you guys. Some of my videos aren't, aren't super clear. I, that is crystal clear. Everything breaks down into simple, actionable tasks that anyone can do. A baby could do that. That means you can do it too. You can literally break it down into the easiest, like, and as you become more intelligent, as you become more equipped with your skills, you understand more, you don't have to break it down as far. If you hear, okay, acquire customers, boom, you already know what to do. Maybe if this is your fifth business, okay, easy, you already know what to do. But if it's your first business, if you're a beginner, you're gonna have to break it down and that's okay. That's how anyone starts. Nobody knows what to do right off the bat when they're first getting started. So that's kind of an idea of what I just got done doing is I laid out this week, I have this new business idea. I don't really understand like the, 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 the woodworks of it. I guess that's the right way to use that phrase. I don't understand the nitty gritty stuff. I don't understand kind of how it all, like the little back end operational things of it. But what I do know is that I can figure it out. And if I break it down for myself far enough, I will figure it out. And it is a great opportunity. And the subject of it, I'm very experienced in. I just, uh, the subject I'm selling, rather, I'm very experienced in. But I'm just not very experienced in the back end of it and delivering the product, okay? Or service, we'll say. So that is why this week I'm going to learn. And honestly, at first today, when I was trying to plan out my week, I was kind of lost. Like, I was trying to think, what do I write for like all six days or seven days this week? I don't really know what goes into this business idea, okay? So how, and I have a reminder on my phone every Sunday night or every Sunday afternoon to set up my week, like lay out everything I wanna do for the week. Something I just started doing as well, which is really helping, highly recommend. But I'm trying to figure it out for the next seven days and I like wasn't sure what exactly to put because I don't know what goes into it. So what I decided to do is uh, tomorrow, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop and get, get a little homework done. You know, still got finals coming up, but I'm going to just take basic notes on the business so I can get a grasp for myself of what I need to do. And then I also wrote, after taking basic notes, write out a mind map. This is something that I really wanna start using. I wanna start using these more, these uh, organizational tools a lot more because I feel like I don't utilize them enough. That will help me group my thoughts together and truly realize what will need to go into this business. From there, I'm practicing what I'm preaching, guys. I'm literally telling you exactly what I'm gonna do this week. And it's what I was just talking about, about breaking down your dreams into actionable steps. Okay, so I got my mind map, I got my basic notes. Then after tomorrow, I wrote a little sub instruction for myself tomorrow. After I do that, now I'll know what exactly I need to do for the rest of the week. Now I can group up, I'll do this for this day, this for this day. And honestly, it probably won't be in the matter of days. It'll probably be, I work on this for this week. I work on this part of the business for this week, this for this week. And then after maybe hope, uh, like a couple months, hopefully I'll put in a couple months on this because I'm willing to you know, put in a decent amount of work into it leading up to me starting it because I'm not gonna really start it for a few more months, but I wanna lay out this good plan and then be able to execute on it and know exactly what can I do every single day to get me to my goals. 
it's literally what I just told you about these habits that I've been doing, these habits, these daily goals. Now I will know exactly what I need to fill in for my daily goals every single day. And if I put my head down and just do it day in, day out, eventually I, I, will, I will reach the goal. I will reach my dream. And all I have to do is just put my head down and be relentless in that pursuit. And I know that I will run into roadblocks and obstacles and I'll fill those in on my daily goals as well to fix certain problems. And I know that if I never stop doing that, I will succeed. It will be impossible to fail if I consistently do it and I never stop. I really hope that this video left you guys with a bunch of value. I tried to really hammer home the topics that I went over and I think I was pretty clear on exactly how it all works. So you guys better have gotten some value from this and uh, go ahead and go start implementing it. Take your actions, start doing your daily habits, your daily goals and go fucking crush it. Good luck.